Now that you've learned how to set up your Roland GX24 cutter and also learned a little bit about the Cut Studio software program, I wanted to take a moment to explain to you some of the advantages of the rolled goods of Imprintables Warehouse and also walk through the cutting of each of those. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the Spectra Cut 2. This is a heat transfer vinyl that, that we sell here at Imprintables. And I'm going to load it into the cutter and just kind of operate on the fly, setting the blade and um, adjusting the downforce so you can see exactly how it's going to be when you're toggling between so many different products that we offer like the Megatallics and the flock material and the pressure sensitive twill. You'll have a lot of different materials that are going to be different thicknesses so it's important to know how to adjust your cutter uh, to accommodate those. So let's load the Spectra Cut 2. Now Lee already showed you a lot of this on the setting up the cutter portion but I think it's important to to actually get hands on with a few of the materials. So basically what I'm going to do is scroll the material through here, adjust my roller so it's locking down on the outer edge of the material, and go ahead and lock down my pinch rollers. As you saw earlier, I'm specifying that a roll is loaded and it's going to measure the width. And I'm going to jump over to this side and we'll uh, do a test cut. Right now I'm going to take my force and I'm going to put it on 100 grams of force, which is pretty much an average for the Spectra Cut 2 material. And the blade should be sticking up, sticking out uh, half a credit card's width, with a, which I've already adjusted it to do that. And I'm press and hold the test button. And use the down arrow key to scroll the material out. I'm going to take my weeder here and uh, see what's come out. Now I should also mention uh, before I weed this out, with our Spectra Cut 2 line of materials and any of our heat transfer vinyls, it's important when loading the material to load the material with the doll side facing up. You can see a bright shiny side and also a dull side of the material. It's important to load the doll side facing up because that is your actual adhesive side that we're going to be cutting on. So if you can zoom in, I'm going to weed away the excess here. and I got a clean cut. So that's right for the Spectra Cut too. So we'll go ahead and uh, send a draw across and cut it on this material so you can see how that works. Um, so 100 grams of downforce on a brand new blade uh, sticking out about a half a credit card's width. Um, and the range on the Spectra Cut 2 can be anywhere from 80 to 130 depending on sharpness of blade and, and various factors like that. So I'm gonna set my origin. Where I want to start cutting. And I already had something pre designed just so you can see the machine work here. We do have the machine on about half of the speed setting, so it can be moving a lot quicker than this. Um, so you're aware, feel free to, to go ahead and raise that speed up if you need to. Um, should be fine. After it's cut, I'm going to take my scissors and remove the piece that I've cut. And weed away my excess material. Now, as Adam showed you on the software demonstration part, you can gain as many images as you possibly can across the material in the software. Um, but I just want to show you this for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to weed the excess away. It should weed fairly easy. You don't, don't really have to be shy with the material at all. And then after that, I'm going to pull everything away from here. And you'll see, just cut the words IW test. Um, and that's the Spectra Cut 2. Now I'm going to save this scrap piece of material because I'm going to come back through later and show you how you can utilize um, the material if you get a lot of scraps built up. It might be a good idea to create a little filing system where you throw certain color scraps in a drawer together and you can use them uh, for promotional stuff just to apply to sample shirts and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and switch to the megatallic material, see if it cuts on a similar downforce.
unlocking the rollers, taking the roll of material out of the Spectre Cut tube. And then I'm going to sit that to the side and grab my roll of Megatallic. Now this material, also you're going to want to cut on the doll side still, and the other side has a real glittery finish, so it should be real easy to identify what side to cut on, on the Megatallic material. And this is a black Megatallic. So we're going to go ahead and load it the same way. And I'm sliding my roll in the back so it accommodates my pinch rollers. Uh, I could also slide the rollers in the same way. Lock it down. And now I'm going to go ahead, it says sheet unloaded. I'm going to press enter so it reads that there's a sheet in there and specify the roll. This is a lot of rep repetition from what Lee already presented to you. And conduct my test cut. Uh, keep in mind my force is still at 100 grams, so let's see how it turns out. Scroll my material out a little bit. And you can zoom here if you'd like so you can see the test cut. Now you can see that it's peeling up the square a little bit. And uh, if you could hear it, I can actually hear it crackling a little bit like it's ripping apart the material like I didn't get a clean cut. So what I'm going to do is adjust the down force um, up, actually. So I'm going to hit the force button, go into my force setting, and I'm going to take it up. I'm going to raise it 20 grams, so now I'm going to operate with 120 grams of down force. Press the enter for it to accept it. And I'm going to go back beside the test cut that I just did and conduct another one. Press and hold the test button. And scroll my material out. Tweet away this one, see if it did any better. Yep, that one cut a lot better, so I'm going to go ahead and operate with that. I'm going to set my origin, send the same job so you can see how easy this material weighs as well. Origin set, and let's go send the same job across.